I'm cooking up some portobello mushroom caps today and it's just so fast and easy. If you're a vegan or vegetarian, I think you'll really love these. They make for a really nice, I guess you could call it an entree, but it could be a side dish as well. And it just has a really rich taste. It cooks up really quickly. The first thing I'm doing is peeling some garlic. So I pulled off a few garlic cloves. I pulled off one big one and it ended up being three small ones and then one really large piece. So I am going to be doing two mushroom caps. So however much garlic you like is what you can slice up. So what you want to do though after you peel the papery part off is just slice them into thinner slices. And this one I'm going to cut once and that's a good thing to do first and now we'll go over to the stove. Before the mushrooms go in the pan we have some other things to put in here. So um, the first thing we're going to put in is just a teaspoon of olive oil. So that's about that much. And then I have a tablespoon of wine. Now it's better if it's red wine, but you can see I only have white wine. So a tablespoon of wine. If you don't have any wine in the house, use a tablespoon of oil. Then the next thing I have is one tablespoon of soy sauce. And then I have one and a half teaspoons of balsamic vinegar. If you like a little more, you can put in a little more. And then we have the garlic that we had before. And I have a heaping quarter teaspoon of dried oregano. And then on the side, I'm not going to put it in yet, but I have a couple extra tablespoons of water. And I haven't heated the pan yet, but now I'm going to turn on the heat. And I want it on medium high, but this is going to be getting to bubbling pretty quickly, but now we're going to go over and wash the mushroom caps. So while that heats, I have the mushroom caps in the sink in a colander, and I'm going to wash them off gently. And this one, um, well, the stem cut fell off. Um, but if the stem is extra long, you can slice it with a knife. Like this one, I might slice um, right here, or maybe I'm not too cunning, but I'm going to go right here. But I might cook this anyway. And um, actually, I want to wash this one a little bit more. And in a few seconds, the stove will be ready because the um, ingredients will be bubbling. Now that these ingredients are bubbling, I'm going to just tilt it a little bit and I'm going to turn the heat down to medium low to medium and we're going to put the caps, mushroom caps top side down and put a lid on and we're going to cook this with the lid on for three minutes. Three minutes are up and at this point I'm going to turn over the mushrooms. And there's actually still quite a bit of liquid in here. I'm going to turn up the heat just a smidge. I'm going to put in a little bit of the water because I don't want this to dry out. It's starting to look really good. And by the way, it smells wonderful. So now I'm going to put the lid back on this and it's going to cook for another five minutes. And we're done. So this is what it looks like. Um, I've had these mushrooms in the refrigerator for a couple days, so um, they're not quite as fresh as if I had just bought them. But this makes a wonderful option um, for an entree. It smells great, tastes good. You could probably even put it on a bun. You know how they sell those portobello mushroom burgers at restaurants? This would be a great option too. These are actually quite small. Um, I bought more today that were about this big. So, um, you know, depending on what you have and what size pan and how many you want to make, um, it just makes a great treat.